Hello guys, welcome to our channel Vigyan Ghar. In the previous video, we talked to you about section A comprising of multiple choice questions from the IIT JAM 2020 biotechnology paper that was organized by IIT Kanpur. The link for the same is given in the description below. Today, we will be talking about the section B, that is the multiple select questions. This section contains 10 multiple select questions. That means one or more than one option will be correct out of the four given choices. The candidate will get full credit only if he selects all the correct answers and no wrong answer. There is no negative marking and there is no partial marking. Questions 31 to question 40 of the paper will belong to this section and carry two marks each, making this section a total of 20 marks. Let's begin. Question 1 is, which of the following are auxins? Auxins are phytohormones that are involved in plant growth and development. Auxins are chemically compounds which have an aromatic ring and a carboxylic acid group. There can be naturally occurring auxins or there can be synthetic auxin analogs. The option 1 and option C that is 1-naphthalene acetic acid and 2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid are examples of synthetic auxin analogs, while the option B and option D, that is the indole-3-butyric acid and indole-3-acetic acid, are examples of naturally occurring auxins, along with some others such as phenylacetic acid and indole-3-propionic acid. Here, option A, B, C, and D, that is all of the options given, are correct. Moving on, which of the following are true about photosynthesis? C3 cycle, C4 cycle and CAM are different pathways that are used by the plant to fix carbon during the process of photosynthesis. In C3 cycle, that is popularly called as the Calvin cycle, the carbon from the carbon dioxide is fixed to form a 3-carbon compound that is 3-phosphoglycerate. While in case of the C4 cycle, the first product is a 4-carbon compound that is oxaloacetate. The option A and option B are therefore correct. The CAM cycle is used by the succulent plants as an adaptation to the arid conditions in such plants the stomata remains closed during the day to reduce the loss of water through transpiration. Therefore, this option also stands correct. Option D, however, is wrong since oxygen in photosynthesis is generated from water and not from carbon dioxide. Options A, B and C therefore stand correct for this question. The next question is which of the following are involved in the activation of cytotoxic T cells? There are T cell receptors present on the cytotoxic T cells that bind to the antigen presented by MHC1 complex on the surface of APC or the antigen presenting cell which causes the activation of cytotoxic T cells. Therefore, it is MSC1 option A and T cell receptor option C that are involved in the activation of cytotoxic T cells. Options A and C are correct. Moving on to the next question. DNA and RNA are acidic in nature due to the presence of. DNA and RNA are called as nucleic acids because of the acidic nature 
a phosphate group attached to them since they can easily lose a proton. Option C, therefore, is the right answer. Which of the following are correct? As per the wave particle duality in quantum mechanics, light can behave as both particle or a wave. Photoelectric effect is an example that light can behave as particles, while interference and diffraction experiments show that it can behave as waves. So in this question, option B and C are the correct choices. The next question is, protozoa are, protozoa or protozoan singular are single celled eukaryotes, either free living or parasitic, which feed on organic matter such as other microbes or debris, such as amoeba, paramecium, euglena, trypanosoma, etc. Protozoa are therefore unicellular eukaryotic organisms. Options A and option C are the correct answers. Moving on to the next question. Which of the following curve or straight line equations will pass through the origin when plotted on a graph? As you all may know, origin is a point on the graph where the x and the y axis intersect and it is labeled as 0, 0. Therefore, to check if an equation passes through that origin, we find if the point 0, 0 satisfy the given equation. When we put this point in option A and option B, we find that LHS is equal to RHS or the equation is satisfied. But in case of option C and D, it is not the case. For example, in option B, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1. That is, LHS and RHS are equal. The equation is satisfied. But in case of C, 0 into 0, that is 0, is equal to 1, which is not true. So option C is incorrect. Here, options A and option B are the correct answers. The next question is, consider two bodies with equal masses of 10 to the power 12 kg each and r distance apart. Let G be the gravitational constant and V0 be a constant with dimensions of energy. Which of the following represent gravitational potential energy between the bodies such that Newton's law of gravitation is valid? As per the Newton's law of gravitation, the gravitational potential energy between two bodies is given by V is equal to minus G M1 M2 by R. It is given in the question that M1 and M2 are equal, that is 10 to the power 12 kg. Therefore, V is equal to minus G into 10 to the power 24 divided by R, which is option A. It can also be written as V is equal to minus G 10 to the power 24 by R plus K V naught because it is given in the question that V0 is a constant with the dimensions of energy. This is similar to option B where K, or the constant, is equal to 1000. Option A and B are the correct choices for this question. The next question is, which of the following are correct? Both glucose and fructose have the same molecular formula? Yes, that is C6H12O6. The positions of oxygen and carbon differ in the structures of glucose and fructose. This is very evident from the structures given here. Both glucose and fructose have the same physical properties. This is not a correct statement 
because physical properties such as density, solubility, melting temperature differ in case of glucose and fructose. Option D, both glucose and fructose are monosaccharides. Yes, a monosaccharide is any sugar that cannot be hydrolyzed any further to give a simpler sugar. Sugars such as oligosaccharides on the other hand can be hydrolyzed further to give simpler sugars for example sucrose, lactose, maltose etc. Therefore options A, B and D are correct in this question. Moving on Which of the following gases function as signaling molecules in the human nervous system? Nitric oxide, carbon monoxide, helium, argon. Well, nitric oxide and carbon monoxide are small gaseous molecules that are synthesized in the neuronal tissue. So they can readily diffuse through the plasma membrane and can very well act as signaling molecule. But argon and helium are inert gases and they rather act as asphyxiants. They can cause suffocation. In this question, option A and B are therefore the correct choices. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. Do like, share and subscribe. We will be back soon with the third part that is the section C of IIT JAM Biotechnology 2020. Thank you.